I'm demoing here the new Sony Xperia Z1, which is Sony's new flagship device. Uh, just to give you a brief rundown of the specs, it's a 4G ready handset, currently running the fastest processor in the world, uh, a 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor. It's the Snapdragon 800 chipset. Uh, one of the biggest shots for us is the fact that it has a 20.7 megapixel camera using Sony's G lens, the same kind that you'd find in a 500 pound digital camera. And we call it the G lens because it's the gangster lens. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the gangster lens, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, sh I was showing you a couple of shots earlier. Uh, I don't know if they'll come up as good on the camera, but um, I'll load up the Let's have a go. So this is what you took uh, just now, yeah? Yeah, of the cityscape. So I mean, if you pan the camera across, you can see the gherkin just ahead of us. Uh, obviously, the sun's set a little bit now, so the light has changed, but that was a shot that I took off this phone. Uh, and obviously, maybe not as sharp as it was coming through the camera, but incredibly sharp imagery. Uh, and part of the reason why the images look so good is down to the fact that it's using the same kind of screen that Sony have in one of their Bravia TVs and it's called a triluminous display which I'll be honest is a made-up word but it sounds amazing uh, and what makes the triluminous displays so good is the fact that they can represent the widest spectrum of colors uh, so just to give you an example if you were to maybe buy a pack of crayons from the pound shop you'd maybe get like a red yellow a blue and a green but if you bought a pack of crayons from John Lewis to say just to say you'd get so many different shades of red and so many different shades of blue so many different shades of green and hopefully I can demonstrate that with this video here so, um, when I show people this video, a lot of the time they assume it's one of those demo videos that you get pre-installed on the device. Uh, but this is actually the advert that Sony are using for their Bravia TVs in 2013. Right, right. Uh, and because obviously this phone is using the same kind of screen, I figured I'd download this video to demo how good the screen is. And you can see here, with the paint, the paint splattering all over the place, you can see each individual colour so distinctly. And that's what makes the triluminous display so good. You can get a really true representation of every subtle colour on the screen. And I mean, just to give you an example, the cheapest TV that Sony do with a triluminous display is two and a half grand to buy it from John Lewis, and it's only a 32 inch TV. So you're getting that same kind of experience in your handset. Cool. I'm honored. Yeah, so that, <laughs> I think like when you look at it that way. Show you me get, the picture of your cat. I oh, see absolutely. Your cat's yes. awesome. Yeah, so I mean, um, I'll tell you a bit of a story about my cat. Uh, I've had him for just over a year now, and when I got him, he was called Optimus Prime. Uh, but my mum, being ethnic, she can't say Optimus. She kept saying Ospimus, so now he's just called Milo. But this is, this is Milo because it's easier for my mum to pronounce. So that was a shot taken directly from this camera. And if I maybe zoom in for you, you can see each individual like fur and whisker on his face so clearly. Actually, and I think I have another shot to show you of it. And the natural lighting as well. Right? Absolutely, yeah. So, if, um, so yeah, this is um, another shot that I took. So you can see if I zoom in, each individual fur, that a strand of hair, each individual whisker is so sharp on this display. If I find this this cat under a stock photo uh, <laughs> <laughs> or under Flickr, I'm going to come after you. Oh, absolutely, that, feel that, free. <laughs> <laughs> so let's tell, tell me about. So it's a, a five-inch screen, and it's a two giga, two point two gigahertz quad processor. Quad processor, quad core, yes. Quad core, um, running uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Two gigabytes of RAM, yes. How that's much correct. storage inside? Sixteen thirty-two. Sixteen gig internal memory, which is expandable with a memory card up to sixty-four gig. Right. Uh, removable battery or? Uh, it's a non-removable battery, but it's a three thousand milliamp battery. Right, right. So coming close to the likes of um, phablets, I'd even say. So yeah. really, really beefy battery, but. Um, it also has uh, Sony's battery stamina mode, which you might be familiar with from from the Z, yeah, from the original Z. Z. So, but I mean, you know, we all thought that was a bit of a gimmick, you know. Just ah, to, okay, yeah. You know I mean, I mean, um, I mean, does it? Have you? How long have you been playing with these? You just got it today. Well, no, I've had mine for a, quite a while, but I mean, does it last a day? It easily lasts me the working day. And uh, bearing in you mind, you would say that though, wouldn't you? Well, no. I mean, part of my job, I have to go around to stores demoing this every day, showing people the camera, showing people videos, showing people um, the, the new content. And I mean, just to show you how effective it is. I mean, uh, my phone was taken off charge nine hours. Ago. Uh, this is me running on 4G using WhatsApp, doing emails, doing YouTube, doing Facebook, and I'm still running on 12 percent battery. And I mean, even with moderate use over this evening, it will last me easily until 10 p.m. at night. So not, even at the rate you're going, yeah, yeah even at the rate going, easily. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And I think for a smartphone to deliver that kind of battery life now, considering how powerful the device is, I think that's quite a statement. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. What about the waterproofness? I mean, we've had a few uh, controversies on the on the web about the waterproofness yeah. of this. Yeah. Thing. So. Is this got the same sort of issues or well, what? Well, this is actually more water resistant than the Z. So the Z was initially only water resistant for one meter up to half an hour. Uh, this is water resistant up to 1.5 meters. Uh, but what makes this more even more distinct is that the headphone jack is now exposed, but it's still water resistant. So if water was to go into this headphone jack, it would still be fine. Go and stick it in a bowl of water. Uh, if, I, if I had a bowl of water here, go and ask. Go and ask the guy. I'll see, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get you a glass let's of water. Go, from let's go and do it. <laughs>
never let it be said we don't try to do the full exposure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Use the ice bucket. <laughs> That's not going to be big enough. Yeah, no, actually, I just want to show them this one is waterproof. So, can, can you pour water over this one into your bucket? So, no, no bogusness about this at all. Oh, actually, yeah. we do have some water. Okay, yeah. Oh, excellent. There you go. So, yeah, if you could just pour it right over the phone just to make sure it goes in the headphone jack as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to pour water over it, it's fine. Straight into that little Yeah, yeah, hole. absolutely. Feel free. It's no problem at all. This is a confident man. Absolutely, I have faith in the product. <laughs> and there you go, it's still running as normal. Oh, Into the head. Yep. Yeah, drop it in the water. Yeah, 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 we sure, want to sure. see it, don't we? We so, all want to see it. Yeah, come um, on. So you're, getting, you're getting a shot of that, yeah? yeah okay, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to put this right into the water for you. Okay. Well, there you go. Sure I got this. You can wow. see that? Drop it, drop it. Get your hands out. Yeah, you that's go. what I like to see. <laughs> Down to one and a half meters, eh? There you go. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And my friend, do you have a tissue I can borrow now? <laughs> Z1, Z1, yeah. Z1, which is better than the Z2. You're impressed, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Very <laughs> oh, look at that. You can't say for that. You got, you got fans again. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> uh, what, should, what you should know, the smartwatch too. The what? Yes, yeah, the smartwatch too. We have it to show you. Okay, so the idea is you keep your your phone in the pocket and you use yeah. the watch. So essentially, I like to say this is more of like a kind of like having a remote for your device. Right. And it kind of gives you discrete access to, and more of a streamlined experience as well. So stuff like checking your, your Twitter feed or your Facebook messages or your emails even, um, you can access them straight from the, from the device. So it just mentions what kind of Google Play apps are coming up in the coming weeks, etc. Um, stuff like Facebook feeds and uh, Twitter feeds will appear strictly text-based. Right. Uh, so I wouldn't maybe get full access to like profiles and photos, right. but status updates appear fine. Uh, I can take and receive calls from the device. Can you talk into this? Or when oh, you no. say take and receive, so what, how do you take and receive? So it would say oh. the name of the person calling, and yeah. then I can choose to answer or reject the call from the watch. Okay. If I answer the call, I then I have to take my phone out and answer it from the device. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. cool. So, all right, so, yeah. so, so you haven't got any sort of like Bluetooth connectivity with a headset or anything like that, so you can answer it? Uh, no, but see, that's why we have this. Oh, no, not yes. another gadget. Board I can't devices, take it. Yes. Oh, what is this? What is this? So this is uh, what we call the SBH52, uh, but it's essentially... Snappy name, dude. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I like to call it the mini Bluetooth phone. Okay. So, let's say for example, uh, I had this in my suit pocket and I was feeling very James Bond, and I got a call from my boss. It would say his name on the little LCD display. Right. And then I would simply answer this like that and talk into the device. Oh, really? Yes. And this, the phone would stay in my pocket, completely untouched. And so where does that sit? No, you clip that to your... Yeah, so if you're wearing maybe, for example, a suit, or I could just maybe clip this onto your shirt, and then maybe you had the, 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 the phone on the inside pocket, you could just simply just answer this and like that and leave the phone as is. Really? Yes. What's the point of having the phone? Well, I see some people find uh, a lot of smartphones quite big nowadays. Right. So this keeps things a bit more compact. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So what's, what, what's the deal? Are you supposed to have the watch or the... What do you call that? Sorry. Uh, I call this the mini Bluetooth phone. Right. Yes. So either the mini Bluetooth phone or the watch, which is the best deal? Uh, well, I think the watch serves... Uh, it's a bit more versatile in terms of what it can do. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the mini Bluetooth phone can it simply serves as a phone. Uh, but the, the, the smartwatch lets you access your emails, your Facebook, it lets you forward your music tracks on your on your Walkman. It lets you answer calls, so it's a lot more versatile than what it can do. And I think it looks a bit more snazzy as well. I feel very James Bond when I have this gear on. <laughs> I bet you do. Which do you prefer out of the two? I prefer the smartwatch. I'd you do. Say, yeah. You do like to use it. Yeah. yeah you just said. It. Okay. I mean, I think the, the mini Bluetooth, whatever jigging me thing, is quite cool. <laughs> but you know, I, I like simplicity. <laughs> so uh, when's it coming out? Ah, so in terms of a launch date, it is coming out next week, week beginning the 23rd. And for those of you who are interested in pre-ordering it, depending on where you go, there is a different pre-order bonus. So if you are a customer with EE or phones for you, you are entitled to a free smartwatch as a pre-order bonus. Really? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Uh, and if you go to uh, O2 or Carphone Warehouse, they are actually doing it with the wireless lens, the QX10 lens. I don't know if I've actually... No, really? Yes. Really? Yes. You get the... Well, which, uh, what, the zoom one or the other one? The flat one? The, uh, the, the flat one. It's, the, it's still got an optical zoom. Wow. But it's a, it's a 100 litre pound lens and uh, Carphone Warehouse and O2 are giving that away for free. Yeah. Is this a global launch or is this just... Uh, this is a global launch. Global launch. Yeah. So next week's a global launch. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm terribly impressed. So I've got the Sony QX10 lens here in my hand. Uh, this is a fantastic little addition to the accessory range of the Z1. It works with any Android phone and actually iOS as well though. So mainly operates on uh, through NFC uh, with the Sony products. So all you need to do, unlock your screen, 
you've got the NFC sensitive part in the back of the phone. Yeah, you touch the two together and what it does, it actually up, turns the lens on for you and the two start connecting to each other through direct Wi-Fi. The there. two versions, one of them is the QX100, which right. has got 3.6 uh, optical zoom. Right. Uh, however, that one has a very large aperture, the F1.8. Uh, right. Uh, this is a slightly more sort of uh, conventional lens, right. but it does have 10 times optical zoom, which is fantastic. Right, right. So, just to give you sort of an idea, so I'm just holding the lens. How do you know when it's upright? So you've got a little um, uh, oh, tripod. Tripod sort of, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I can sort of point it left and right, as you can see. And this is just a preview on the phone. So this is not the full quality, if you like. Right. Um, but once you take the photo, it does actually send a copy of the photo to your handset for preview purposes. So let's just give it a go. And what is it? It's, a, it's an f1. Point, uh, f2.8, is it? And this one, I believe, is an f. I'm not quite sure. Actually. Oh, really? I should know this. <laughs> this is, you should. Uh, I think it's f2.4. If I'm not uh, wrong, but I do, do I do know the QX100 is f1.8, which is oh, very impressive. The 100, yeah, that's that's Absolutely. very impressive. That's a low light. So as you can see, the lens is over there. Now I can actually try and zoom in and zoom out. I can see it over there in distance. Yeah, yeah. The, the uh, camera lens actually popping out and back in. Oh no, hold on, let me see what I get. That in shot. Okay, do it, do it again. So let's just go in like that. Oh yeah, 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 got it. And then come back out. So pretty impressive stuff. Um, and that's working over some, uh, what sort Wi-Fi of direct. Wi-Fi direct. So directly connecting to the phone. You, you can be on a beach and be doing this basically. Um, Great for voyeurs, right? Absolutely. <laughs> stick, stick it on a wall and somewhere and walk away. Tap on the uh, on the screen wherever you want the focus to be. So if you want a uh, you know a forefront or the background or that right. sort of thing, you can actually try that. So if I want to focus at the edge of the table, I can. If I can, if I want to focus on the background and the uh, background, I can also do that. So take a shot text it and you can see it's sending a copy of the image as well as saving it onto the memory card on board it sends a copy over here which I can actually zoom into and you can see the detail is incredible so you're getting the, the benefit of the camera uh, the phones uh, what is it however many megapixels it is 20 uh, so this is this is essentially nothing to do with the camera on the phone itself right. it's, it's literally that lens it has got a built-in image processor Sony's Bion's processor built into the actual lens right it, it, it processes the image and saves a copy onto the lens itself however it sends a copy to your Phone oh, so it's the camera doing this. So it's not the camera on the phone. That's no, 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 not at all. Oh, it's a camera. It's actually a camera. That's then. actually. So what we have done uh, <laughs> before we knocked it off. <laughs> so what we have actually managed to do is take the Boeing's image processor out of the Sony point and shoot camera, right, and built it directly into the lens, including the battery. So it's a camera. Yes, absolutely. It's actually not a lens. It's a yeah, camera. It's, you're it's attaching a dip, another camera to. Essentially, yes. That's that's what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I mean, right. I can actually turn the screen off on the handset and take shots with the lens itself by just pushing this button. Right, right. And it does a little click And you just well. won't see what it is. You're no. just using the phone as a viewfinder. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's very um, so that's interesting. You can actually do the zoom on the, on the uh, lens itself, as you can see. Right, right. Um, so, so it's got all is, controls on it, really. Yes. I mean, the other idea is that you can just open this gear in the back and connect it to the phone. So all you have to do, do this. And now you've got, essentially, oh, right. a normal so, yeah. standard camera, except you have a five inch beautiful display, full HD. Right. So the preview that you see is actually, if anything, better than a normal, than a normal camera. camera. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Let's have a look at that, like what it looks like. So it basically turns it into a full camera, doesn't it? Absolutely. So this There's is two cameras in one. I mean, the it's benefit really of it is, is, is the beautiful thing, thing about it is that, you know, unlike some competitive products where you've got a bulge in the back of the handset, you, you have a normal handset with a fantastic camera built into it everywhere. However, if you wanted to, to take it to that next level, you can just take your lens out with you. You know, it gives you the best of both worlds. But what's the battery life? What, what, what is it using? A, a rechargeable lithium ion? Absolutely. Yeah, what's the battery probably, life on them? Um, hard to say because it's not out yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a but what I can tell you is that it's very good. <laughs> no, course. sorry, that's a come on, you can't do that. <laughs> Because I mean that's one of the big things too. You know, you have got another product to charge, so that's the only. Uh, well, I mean, this that. is this is. I suspect not. It's not something you would have with you every single day because you have a very capable camera yes. already built into the to the handset. Uh, I can't do this with two hands. Okay, so there's the clamp. That's the clamp. Yep. Fits and then just the, literally. Oh right. It, it, it uh, extends like that. Back of the phone. It's all right, I'll take it, I'll, I'll, I'll believe it. It's quite light, actually. It is it's very lighter light. Than it looks. That's obviously including battery, the processor yeah, chip, yeah. and everything inside. Is it a replaceable battery? Yes, so in the back, if you push this down, this actually comes off, and the battery sits inside here. Oh, cool, and then you, is that a standard Sony battery, or is it? It is, I believe so. It I'll looks, it looks it kind of standard size. Yeah, it does. And that's a, uh, the capacity on that one is 630 milliamp. 
630? Yes. Okay, so that's... Bearing that's in mind, it doesn't have a display. Yeah, exactly. Because that's exactly. the most power-hungry part of yeah, yeah, the yeah. equipment. So it's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, thanks. Is there anything else I should know about it? Um, price? It's um, Price-wise, uh, again, it's, it's going to hit the retail soon. Um, right. Not sure about the prices at the moment. Right, right. And when's it, when's it due out then? Uh, I believe by the end of the month. So by the... At the end of the September. End of September. Yeah. And is that a global launch? Uh, or just oh, here? <laughs> I'm, ask, I'm that, asking you all the tricky <laughs> questions, aren't I? I apologise for that. I'm more of a product trainer rather than... Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know all the, uh, the prices. <laughs> all right, well, thanks very much no, for your, uh, your help. And it's great. Thanks a lot. Thank you.